What's going on everyone? So if you're watching this video, you are like how I used to be, which was clueless of when it comes to compressing videos and uploading it to YouTube. I was just uploading left and right without even thinking about how I was, how I was compressing them, what even compressing it is. And I would always get this stupid message from YouTube that just annoyed me and I always ignored it, which was like, your video is taking longer than expected. To turn on Ryan how to compress these videos, click here. I just like, I'm not doing that. I'm not wasting my time reading these. You stupid. Well, recently I wasted my time and I did read them and it was actually very helpful. And ever since that, I have learned the best way to upload my videos to YouTube. So let's get into it right here. So right here I have my latest video from Pittsburgh uh, with my girlfriend. If you want to check out this full video, I'll put the link in the description down below. But so this is it. So now um, I am going to go up to File, Send to Compressor, and it's going to... And there we go, now we're in Compressor and the video is right here. So all that you have to do is click Add and click on the Apple ProRes 422 HQ and then you're gonna go up to you can pick a default location um, preferably desktop just so you can drag it on to the upload video on YouTube um, so here's where the important part is so if you look at the estimated file size right now it's 13.4 gigabytes I'm not about to upload something that's 13.4 so we can go over to changing our frame size. I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080 because that's also what I shot this in. And then for frame rate, we're going to go with 23.97. I shot it at 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. And right here is our important part. You're going to switch this 422HQ to H.264. And the profile is going to be high. Entry mode is C A B A C. And right here in the data rate, we're going to make a custom data rate of 10,000 kilobytes per second, which transfers into 10 megabytes per second. And that is, and then the final step is the audio is going to be in 48 kilohertz. And that is it. We will then go over here, click start batch, and you'll see in the active thing, your video will start to compress. And so there we are. That is the best way for me and my videos from uploading from Final Cut Pro to Compressor to YouTube. It just, it tends to get the best quality, loads the best, and it takes the least amount of time to upload on YouTube. It takes, I think this video, took me about four minutes maybe less on YouTube and then it was ready to go so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about Final Cut Pro compressor all that fancy jazz go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that like button and I'll be uploading more videos in the future also if you guys have a better way that works for you of uploading videos comment down below what that is what settings you use I'm curious to um, see what other people, what works for other people. I'll see you guys in the next episode.